When I requested more away missions, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. You may be our only chance to communicate with that ship. When you get there, you'll be downloaded into their EMH system. I'm sending an initiation code along with your program, so you'll be activated immediately. We have less than 90 seconds before that ship moves out of range. How am I supposed to get back here? When you've completed your mission, instruct them to move within range of the sensor network. With any luck, they'll be able to send you back the same way you came. Luck. I won't lie to you, Doctor. A lot of things could go wrong. We're relying on an alien technology to send you across thousands of light years. So there's a chance my program could be lost? Yes. I'm asking you to take that chance. 35 seconds. Doctor? Far be it for me to turn down an opportunity to become a hero. I'm ready. Taurus to bridge. Standing by. I'm downloading him into the transceiver array. 10 seconds. Good luck, Doctor. There's that word again. Doctor. Report. I... I did it. You completed the mission. Yes. Once the Romulans were out of the way. Romulans? They'd taken over the Prometheus, the ship I was on. But I managed to turn the tables on them with a little help from a fellow EMH. You got through to Starfleet. I spoke directly with headquarters. Apparently Voyager was declared officially lost 14 months ago. I set the record straight. I told them everything that's happened to this crew. They said they would contact your families to tell them the news and promised that they won't stop until they found a way to get Voyager back home. And they asked me to relay a message. They wanted you to know you're no longer alone. Sixty thousand light years. Seems a little closer today. Transmission just stopped. Locate the source, see if you can get it back. It looks like... Captain, the transmission was sent along the same network of alien relay stations we used to send the Doctor to the Alpha Quadrant. Starfleet Command must be using them just like we did. Harry, can you clear the interference from that message? Yes, ma'am. They said they wouldn't stop until they found a way to get us home. Nonetheless, we can't assume they've been able to devise a plan this quickly. They're communicating with us. That's a big step. Okay, I've reprocessed everything we received. I've cleared out most of the interference. Here it is. This is Starfleet Command to the USS Voyager. If you are receiving this message, please study it carefully. We have information. That's all we got. It looks like the bulk of the transmission is lodged in one of the relay stations. Can you tell which one? It's about 3.8 light years from us on a heading of 274 Mark 1-3. Set a course, Tom. Last time we used one of those stations, the people who built it weren't too happy. We'll deal with that if we have to, but I'm not going to lose this opportunity. We're going to find out what the rest of that message says. The data stream degraded during transmission. Elements have been dislocated, rearranged. It's going to require some time to decompress the message and rearrange it in the proper sequence. Well, don't worry about the sequence. Get it out in bits and pieces if you have to. We can put it together later. I've accessed a block of data. I'm downloading the text. How much we miss you. We talk about you often, wondering about your day. It sounds awfully personal from Starfleet Command. The children have grown so much you wouldn't. These are letters. 
is your letters from home. Captain, look at this. The energy released from the Singularity created a massive discharge along the relay network. It disabled every one of the stations. How much of the message were you able to get? I got most of the encrypted Starfleet text and a few more personal letters. How soon can we see what Starfleet had to say? Oh, it'll take some time to decode. Harry should probably work on it. If you'll excuse me, I have a few letters to deliver. Well, Neelix can do that. No need. Anyway, there's one that I want to do personally. Good news, Harry. I got this at the last minute. <laughs> It's from my folks. Thanks. I'm sorry, Tom. I wasn't able to download yours in time. Just when I was getting eager to read it. You could assume that he said he loves you. And that he's proud of you. I think I will. Still hunting for buried treasure. We found the treasure. I just can't pick the lock. I've tried over 50 decryption algorithms. Every time I piece together a data block, 10 more come unraveled. What does Starfleet send us? A map? The location of a wormhole? If I could decode this today, Chakotay, we could be home tomorrow. <laughs> then again, it could be Admiral Chapman's recipe for the perfect pound cake. Captain's log, supplemental. After two days at high warp, we've rendezvoused with the Dauntless. Arturus has helped us reconstruct most of the Starfleet message. The pieces of this puzzle are finally coming together. Slipstream technology is experimental and high risk, but it's come a long way in the past year. We've conducted 47 trial runs, all of them successful, but each flight lasted only five days. In order to reach Earth, you'd have to remain at slipstream velocity for a full three months. Can your crew survive that long? We believe they can, and we encourage you to try. Everything you'll need is on the Dauntless. Power cells, supplies, living quarters. Safe journey. We hope to see you soon. Admiral Hayes, good man, fine officer. Bit of a windbag. <laughs> The algorithm's working. It's reconstructing the data block. That's strange. I thought we already recovered this part of the message. Perhaps it is an addendum from the Admiral. You did designate him a windbag. Oh, I don't think so. The data index doesn't match. This is a completely different message. Apologies from everyone at Starfleet Command. We've had our best people working around the clock trying to find a wormhole, a new means of propulsion, anything to get you back home. But despite our best efforts, I know it's not what you were hoping, but we have sent you all the data we've collected on the Delta Quadrants. With any luck, you'll find at least some part of it useful. Maybe enough to shave a few years off your trip. Safe journey. We hope to see you soon. Your intuition was correct. Unfortunately. Voyager. Rich, give me a hand clearing up the signal. Lower the filter band by 0.3 kilohertz. This is Captain Catherine Janeway. Do you read me? I think she's talking to you. Captain, this is Lieutenant Reginald Barclay at Starfleet Command. It's good to hear your voice, Lieutenant. We've been waiting a long time for this moment. The feeling is mutual. Unfortunately, the micro wormhole is collapsing. We have only a few moments. Understood. We're transmitting our ship's logs. 
Crew reports and navigational records to you now. Acknowledged. And we're sending you data on some new hyper subspace technology. We're hoping eventually to use it to keep in regular contact, and we're including some recommended modifications for your comm system. We'll implement them as soon as possible. Uh, there's someone else here who would also like to say something. This is Admiral Paris. Hello, sir. How are your people holding up? Very well. They're an exemplary crew. Your son included. Tell him. Tell him I miss him. And I'm proud of him. He heard you, Admiral. The one hole is collapsing. I want you all to know we're doing everything we can to bring you home. We appreciate it, sir. Keep a docking bay open for us. We hope to see you. That's it. You're gone. You did it, Reg. Seven of nine to the bridge. Go ahead. We're receiving a transmission from Starfleet. Route it here. It's not a comm link, Captain. It appears to be a compressed data stream. Badly degraded. On my way. This is all the data they could send us. Until next month. Next month? They're using a cyclic pulsar to amplify signals from the Midas array. But the cycle only peaks every 32 days. So once a month, we'll be able to receive a short burst of information. And we'll have about 17 hours to respond. So far, we've gotten tactical updates, letters from home, and news about the Alpha Quadrant. I don't suppose they found us a shortcut home. It doesn't look that way. We don't have much time to prepare a response, and we'll have to keep it short. But I want to give everyone an opportunity to send something, even if it's only a brief note. Inform the crew. Yes, ma'am. Aye, Captain. Lieutenant Barclay, the Pathfinder Project. They didn't give up on us. So when you write those letters, you might want to thank them. Computer, advance to time index 121.4. As we get closer and our conversations become more frequent. When you respond to this message, please let us know of any casualties. I'm sure you've had more than your share. I'm anxious to know the status of your crew, the Maquis, first contacts that you've made, interactions with the Borg. But there'll be time for everything. Our thoughts are with you. Talk to you soon. Any luck? I've determined why we've been having difficulties. A hologram. The transceiver wasn't designed to store photonic data. We have to get it out of there before it degrades. What are you doing? Tying the transceiver into the holodex pattern buffer? Those systems aren't compatible. It'll depolarize the relays. Starfleet wouldn't have sent this hologram if it weren't important. I'm sure it's worth a few burnt-out relays. You've overloaded the transceiver. But I saved the hologram. Okay, ready when you are. Lieutenant Barclay? Uh, no. But he did design me. I'm a walking, talking, problem-solving, interactive hologram. You can call me Reg. It's nice to meet you, Reg. Pleasure's mine, Captain. 
Harry, Seven, I've been looking forward to working with you. You have? I know. You were expecting letters from your friends and families, but with any luck, in a few days, you'll be seeing them face to face. The deflector's in position. Anything? I'm picking up a phased tachyon beam. There's a triaxillating signal encoded in it. On screen. Voyager, this is Lieutenant Barkley at Star Station Commando. Can you clear it up? I'm on it. Captain Janeway, it's a pleasure to finally talk to you in person. The pleasure's mine, Admiral. How's the weather in San Francisco? Cold and rainy as usual. It sounds delightful. Lieutenant Barkley, my congratulations on establishing the first transgalactic comlink. You've earned a place in the history books. I can't take all of the credit, Captain. It was Harry and Seven who suggested bouncing a tachyon beam off of the quantum singularity. Just be sure to thank us when you accept the Daystrom Prize. I wish we had more time for small talk, but the singularity only stays in alignment for 11 minutes a day. 11 minutes are better than none, Admiral. We appreciate all your work, Reg. We're going to leave it up to you to determine how to allocate the comp time. Admiral, um, there was something else. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Barkley has arranged a small gift for you and your crew. This is a live image from McKinley Station. Uh, not too much cloud cover over North America today. Quite a view. Thank you, Rich. They evolved from dinosaurs? Hadrosaurs, to be precise. Their ancestors settled in the Delta Quadrant 20 million years ago. The Volf, the Kabali, the Vardwa. You've made first contact with more species than any captain since James Kirk. It helps being the only Starfleet ship within 30,000 light years. You are being too humble. From the first time you spoke up in my classroom, I knew you'd go far. A little farther than I expected, Professor. I have my Admiral hat on today, Catherine. And I didn't call just to catch up. Starfleet has a mission for you. being hailed. On screen. Sorry to surprise you. Next time we'll call ahead. Welcome back. It's good to be here. How did you... It'll all be in my report, sir. I look forward to it.